Okay, this is where we are at around 4.30. And uh, this is in dappled sunlight and weird harsh shade uh, where the mural is at this moment. So I wanted to kind of, it's gonna be, I'm gonna try to get an angle where my shadow is not in the way. Um, so I'm starting to do this barn and you'll notice that is the only thing that's pretty solid on this whole thing. Everything else has lots of brush strokes to it. No really hard edges, right? So with a barn, I wanted it to kind of, I wanted there to be a contrast. And Susie said that she really wants a barn with a flying pig over it. And so I don't know if it's easy to tell. Yep, that's her weather vane. And guess what? It's a flying pig. Look at that. So that is uh, the inspiration for the flying pig that's gonna, and there's the cat in heat. She will not stop meowing, oh my God. So anyway, the barn, I wanted to give it hard edges because it would really pop forward. It would come forward and stand out in contrast to all the line work everywhere else. And there are going to be some brush strokes within each of the planes of the barn, which I'm gonna make each one a slightly different hue of red. So I'm going to just show my mixed orange here. Tupperware is awesome. Just old Ziploc things that maybe you've already bought that are kind of wasteful, but like I'm not judging because I have a ton of them. So here I've kind of filled in the edges here because I do want it to be sort of a solid shape, but I'm taking some of that and swirling within and on top of a little bit of some of the colors that were already there. And I'm gonna fill this in, leaving spaces between, of course, with the blue of the background coming through all of it to kind of unify. There's some unity there. It's kind of an art word there. Where everything goes together, nothing looks like it doesn't belong. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put some red ones in there too. And it's kind of cool because with the swirls, uh, it kind of allows me to kind of, it influences sometimes like the shapes of things like the rolling hills over there. So that's what I'm up to now. I will check back in with another video. Just like turning the phone all over the place. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit.